I wouldn't. I would not go so close, man. Those. Oh man. What's up guys, John back with another reaction video and uh, we are reacting to, uh, I am a Georgia fan by the way, I am reacting to Florida Gators football recruiting um, because just interesting, you know, it's not like I really hate Florida but um, I know there's a huge rivalry but uh, Gator fans, let me know, uh, dog fans, do you guys really hate each other? Um, so I, 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 you know, I didn't grow up with that rivalry, so I don't know how much hate there is, but we're just going to go react to this. Let's get in. I love this channel. Like they show all the things like are behind the scenes, um, about, you know, football, all that kind of stuff. So I've never actually been to Florida. It's your boy Leland and welcome to another episode of Unofficial Visit. As you can see, we're on the Unofficial campus of the University visit. of Florida and Ready to get this uh, recruiting visit started. Let's get it. Slow down. Leland, come have fun. We're going to go toward the University of Florida. I'm excited. I'm so ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. I think it's kind of cool that there are like people that come and pick them up and um, show them around. Um, I guess, you know, the university's in, you know, putting a lot of money into these players, so they gotta treat them pretty well. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. No seatbelt? No seatbelt, it's okay. We got this. Let's I'll be it. a safe driver. Okay, y'all, so I know that we just toured the complex, so you guys already saw that, so now I wanna bring y'all around campus. Okay. Um, we have a lot to offer here, so. How important is it, you know, to have that, um, obviously you're, you're meeting the families, so do you guys create like a family atmosphere, and how important is that for, for a successful program? Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, family atmosphere, really family is everything for us as, as a program, especially. Okay, so right here, this is, I mean, we are at like the, probably one of those popular, busiest, busiest spots. crosswalks <laughs> on campus, and I'm stuck at another red light, but for the amount of SEC championships, That's a nice um, we have the most SEC championships um, as a whole. Like when you combine every single sport, mm -hmm. we have the most. The person in second place, the school in second place, they have a hundred less SEC Sheesh. championships than us. Yes. So like Florida truly is an everything school. So yeah. Those of you guys who went to Florida, Florida alum, or are going to Florida, let me know how was your experience there. How is your experience there? Have you guys ever been to the games? I'm sure they're crazy. Um, but I want to hear more like, what's the tailgating like? You know, where do you guys tailgate? Um, and is there like special foods that Florida does that's like maybe different than other areas? Let me know. It's been amazing. Um, and it's just it like, looks yeah, like a really nice like, campus. You'll see it. How can you not be successful here? Roughly how many... Uh... How many students are enrolled here? About 55,000. Sheesh. Yes, it is huge. We have the largest this like, uh, alumni student base in the country. Like, yeah, you which can is, rent those which says a lot. Um, you know, I think that I was, I was pretty shocked when I, I heard that. Um, but yeah, we have had a lot of Florida alum. I'm gonna bring you guys, I know where you see the football facility. Very nice um, building. Just because of like the different traffic and stuff, because of game day. I'm gonna go a different way, but I want you guys to see. We have a few other parts of campus, and then we'll circle back and come back to the football facility. <laughs> so Lake Alice, we actually have um, alligators that live here in Lake Alice. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And that is cool. Time, you'll see I think that's on specific the only. So. There's a gator head. Oh my God! There Literally. is a gator head. Here, let's. I'll turn on here. Like, do you guys? Being a hole. Asks for balance. Like, is oh, there yeah, like there is. gators on campus? Is that what she's saying? Leland Bruce here. Is that you it? You can see it as a wild gator. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Good catch. I really would not have seen that. You were like, "There's a gator head right there." You gotta tell I me wouldn't. You I one. would yeah, not right. go <laughs> so close. Yeah. Man, those. Oh man. Under they they go. could get up. You can, well, that is, you can get up there. The <laughs> I'm not getting campus. that close. We saw everything that I would I would love to see. Yeah. 
the student side. Yeah. I love how um it's it's uh yeah, gotta, they're teaming yeah. up with Jordan yeah. Brand. Get ready to go to the game. That's pretty let's cool. Go. Let's do that. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Right, so yes, the equipment. Uh, the equipment. Yes. Football equipment. Yes, sir. Right, did I get that right? This is yeah. the fun part. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So I'm your recruit for today. Right. Kind of walk me through uh, the, the Florida experience, equipped from the equipment room. Yeah. So what, what we kind of do when uh, recruits kind of come through here, a uh, big part of their whole visit is being able to see the gear and you know try on the That's uniforms, so cool, man. And photo shoots, and different things of that nature. So we try to do a good the job. Yeah. You know, kind of picking out like our obviously. The pieces that you know are for different specific type things show them we talk about that we like to talk about all the different types of equipment um you know the special helmets so uh, we have axiom helmets um, so, clean. Different skin helmets, so clean so uh, clean you know where technology has gone with equipment uh, you know it's making the game a lot safer and we want to make sure that the recruits know we're on top of that and you know we want to be able to give them that information make them feel good about what we're offering to each guy that comes in here talk about all the cleats, all the different apparel, the different things mm -hmm. we do from an equipment standpoint uh, to help our team, help our guys get ready for practices, games, workouts, travel, all that kind of stuff that we provide for them. So, uh, like I said, we'll we kind of do a big presentation, talk about the gear, and then we bring them in and we start getting them all dressed up in uniforms. The uniforms nowadays are Absolutely. so sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And right. I love it's how like every school now, also, is changing I mean, it up. Obviously, I'm going to get fitted today. Um, let's talk about the uniforms. And yeah, you know, like what, what, what I'm going to get into. Yeah, so um, here at Florida, we, I mean, three different colors. Obviously, we have orange and blue. I love and the colors, white. though. Colors uh, are we nice. We have that for, you know, I like the Jersey's jump man on the on the and left. Coach Napier is more of a traditional kind of guy, and um, so for a lot of our home games, we're wearing that blue on white. Uh, road games, we're wearing the white, and then we'll mix the paint colors up. But you know, for our game, that's weekend, a lot, so man. Twenty-two blue on consecutive white, bowl games. Going traditional look. Okay. So I mean, I think that's what we ought to dress you up in. Yeah, this is a home game. We're at home, so let's. I want to get in that. Absolutely. Let's do it. Yes, sir. All right. Sounds good. So we got all your gear out here. We got oh, the wow. jersey, white pants. Those are nice. Orange helmet. That's Locker what we'll rooms. wearing this weekend. Got you a pair of uh, retro clean. seven cleats, white gloves, socks, a couple. That, that's very interesting. Like, if you go look at the other SEC locker rooms, they have individualized, like, chambers or whatever they call them. But Florida does it so they're partnered up, sitting next to each other. I'm not sure if they can there's a wall separating that or not but that's pretty interesting that's different swag items yeah. talk about what you got on we got you know your blue jersey your mm, pants clean socks we got the retro seven cleats yeah you know oh, that's we, clean. we rock out with uh, some white gloves for our home games mm. i see got your little arm sleeve wristbands different swag type items we got the the orange helmet so that's and, what, and uh, wearing that's glasses rocking, yeah. I'm rocking <laughs> yeah i'm good absolutely so that's what we got for tonight. You think if I ran on the field, Coach, enough? You, you can make it work. I can make it work. Yeah. All right, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's give it a test. Where's that area uh, where you can, like, take pictures? Up. That um, they take we'll them to take pictures of? Next is we'll get you with our creative team, and uh, we'll start doing some photo shoots. So let's go up there and get some stuff knocked out. All right, Jeff, appreciate it. Absolutely, bud. Yes, sir. What's he going to go next? There you go. <laughs> It just seems like no matter what, you'll look fly in whatever they give you. <laughs> that is so clean. I wonder if he gets to keep the, or he just got to return it after. Like certain things, obviously. Not not everything. All right, squad, so I'm here with uh, Mr. Kevin Camps, the assistant AD of... Creative Media and Branding. Okay. Here. University branding so, that's cool long title associate director that. what is that branding? Mean? so basically my role here is i oversee uh, a lot of the graduate here at the university of florida and obviously like the gator brand mm, um, i wonder if those people get more free jordans special brands and all the college athletics and sports in general how does your role affect recruits when they come in and into the program so previously when i was working internal football before transitioning um, you know, we're making the graphics for recruits, we're doing photos. Um, Coach Napier, you know, and our coaches are really invested in this space. And, um, you know, you know, big heads up and big thank you to our admin for really investing in the space mm -hmm. and the facility, just building an area specifically for recruiting and for photos and our graphics team and creative team 
um, just really just it impacts the recruits in a way that it shows the Florida brand. Um, it shows that, that we care about them um, and really can help them envision themselves being a Gator. We're willing to get to learn and know who they are and then show that appreciation back. Um, especially in this new era of college football, it's in, in that college athletics, it's really important with NIL, like understanding their personal brand and how we can impact that brand on our platform. Oh yes, the tailgating. Do you guys get gator burgers or gator tot? I've seen like gator, like fried alligator. All right, squad, we made it down to the field. I have now never let's go tried check out the gator walk as the boys come in. Yes, the game. The gator walk, right? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Let me know. <sighs> that guy's wearing a turtleneck in Florida. Another turtleneck. How is that stadium? Is it pretty nice? Oh, it's all That's a nice game to go to. Let me know how the atmosphere is. I'm sure it's really crazy. You know, Gator fans. Well, squad, that was the experience. That was our visit. We uh, got fitted. We talked to the branding team about uh, personal brands, and then we got to visit the game. Now, I'm tired. I'm orange and blue it out. Go Gators. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, that was that was cool. I think any of those big brand um, SEC teams, uh, your official visit is... They treat you like a god, right? I mean, because you're, you know, you're, you're an investment for them. So they're going to, you know, show you all the nice places. Um, they probably give you something to eat, locker rooms, everything. I, I'm sure they've showed them a lot of other places. And this is the unofficial visit. You might not see as many things, but an official visit, they might, you know, take the time and you might meet more people. Um, but yeah, Florida is one of those big brand name schools that um they can afford all those you know nice locker rooms you know i'm a hawkeye fan as well iowa does not have the money that florida does definitely not uh georgia does i've, I've seen the georgia locker room and they they look pretty nice so uh let me know if you guys ever been there or not or if you guys think like a tour or something like that of the of the stadium let me know down below make sure you guys check out my other reaction videos uh, we have the championship game coming up georgia versus tcu so make sure to look out for that i'll check you guys in the next video i'm out peace